Hello, my name is Anna Brogan and I am a registered nurse. Today we are going to be going over continuous blood glucose monitoring with the Dexcom monitoring system. Now before I get started, everyone should have their Dexcom handout that just has simple um, identifiers for the Dexcom system so that everyone knows what I'm referring to as well as the what, how, and why this tool is so awesome for our diabetic patients. Um, for our diabetic patients, they are taught from a young age, if they're a type 1 diabetic and as well as a type 2 diabetic later on in life, to check their blood glucose before every meal or snack as well as before bedtime. Now a lot of times, although that's a good practice, what is happening is between those eating times and bedtime, the patient's blood glucose is unknown because who wants to subject themselves to more finger sticks than necessary? A lot of diabetics live by the motto that if you feel fine, you are fine, which is totally understandable, but sometimes this causes these patients to have a higher A1C, which as nurses we know is the dark cloud for our diabetic patients and something we so want them to have under control as well as these patient, patients causing harm to their eyes and their kidneys and their overall health by uncontrolled blood sugars that they aren't um, continually monitoring throughout the day. So maybe at 8 o'clock in the morning their blood sugar is 200 and then after they eat and have breakfast and do all kinds of stuff in the morning at 10 o'clock their blood sugar is 400 and they don't check it again until lunchtime and then they're having to recount for those high blood sugars. It just gets all out of whack for our patients. Um, a controlled A1C is something that I've seen the most um, positive outcome as a nurse and as well as a friend with this um, Dexcom system. My best friend who will be joining us soon is a type 1 diabetic. He was diagnosed with diabetes when we were 3 years old. So at that time we became aware even as babies um, what diabetes was, how it was going to affect his body, and since then we have tried to stay on top of our game with um, new technology such as the Dexcom and ways to make him a better diabetic. And as a nurse and friend, it is very important that I'm aware of this, but also for all of you all, um, it, it's something to be informed about. As a nurse, we don't want our patients to come through the ER or even on the floor in the home setting anywhere with this new tool they're so excited about to um, monitor their blood glucose and we have no idea what it is or how it works. We don't have to be professionals on it, but we need to be open to learning and have a basis of information so we can say, yeah, I've heard about this, I think this is how it goes, let's check out the Dexcom website and let's get you rolling because this is an awesome tool that's going to better our patients' health as well as our family members and our close friends. Um, a big positive effect that I've seen personally with my best friend with this Dexcom is the less finger sticks. Um, a lot of patients, like I said, go with the couple finger sticks a day and if they feel fine, they are fine, so why am I going to subject myself to more finger sticks? Which I totally get, but those less finger sticks are causing us to have more high blood sugar levels and uncontrolled diabetes. So with this Dexcom, there is one stick every 7 to 11 days. Um, you apply the Dexcom uh, app, or, um, monitoring pod, which we're going to go over later. And then for 7 to 11 days, the diabetic patient does not have to check their sugar again with a finger stick unless they feel that the Dexcom is not um, monitoring perfectly or something like that. But there's usually no other need for a finger stick within a week or even more once the Dexcom is applied. So we can cut down finger sticks to four and five, or sticks in general, four or five a month as opposed to five to ten every day, which is so awesome for our diabetic patients. Now, let's get into an explanation of what exactly continuous blood glucose monitoring is. Um, with the Dexcom system, which is what we are teaching on today, the diabetic patient um, gets a kit in the mail that they've applied for and their insurance covers. You can get these continuous blood glucose monitors without your insurance covers. You just pay for it out of pocket. Um, when you get your kit, it'll come in the mail with an applicator for your pod that has an adhesive backing on it, as well as a 
center pod that goes into that little applicator and this monitor that the patient can carry in their pocket. Now the awesome thing with this for our young diabetic patients as well as our older diabetic patients that are just good with technology is that if you don't want to carry around that little black pod, the Dexcom actually sends your blood glucose monitors to your cell phone via Bluetooth. So as long as you have your cell phone in your pocket, your phone is getting your glucose monitor. So you, that takes away the need to carry around a big glucometer and a finger pricker, lots of things that these diabetic patients are way down with that they don't have to carry anymore. Another awesome thing about the technology available with this um, monitor is that you can invite friends to monitor your blood glucose. So like with Matthew, if he's sleeping or something and for some reason I'm up because us nurses never seem to sleep, I can check my app on my phone and it will tell me his blood glucose from miles away. So this means that not only does one person monitor their own blood glucose, but you have other people to keep you in check and make sure your blood glucose is fine, maybe when you're busy and not paying attention to it. Um, the only item you need at home when doing this Dexcom application is a, an alcohol swab for skin prep, which is awesome because that is... The only thing you have to go to Walmart and buy for for this. Everything else is sent to you in the mail. So, okay. Now on to the fun part. Matthew, come on in here. Here is our trusty assistant and our great type 1 diabetic that's A1C has improved two whole points in three and a half months since starting his Dexcom use. Okay. Gonna open up your applicator packet. Crack open your alcohol swab. Now, the Dexcom can be worn on your stomach, um, any subcutaneous uh, area of fat, but Matthew has an insulin um, pump, so he feels that having all of those things hooked to his stomach is just excessive. Gets caught with his belt and all of that, his shirt. Um, so he prefers to wear it on the back of his arm because it's easier to hide for him. It doesn't seem to stick out as bad in his clothes and it doesn't get caught on as much. So to apply your Dexcom continuous blood glucose monitor, you will first remove the protectors of your adhesive backing. Just like that. Okay. And now there is a little protective piece right here just so that your applicator plunger doesn't get pushed in the mail. Just remove that and your applicator is ready to go. Now, we like to apply this applicator um, facing up towards Matthew just because he says that that's the most comfortable position for the cannula to be in his arm. A little plastic cannula is plunged through this into his sub-Q layer of fat and it, that's what stays there and sends the messages for his blood glucose. It's not an actual needle that stays in his arm or anything like that. Okay, just make sure you can see me. We pinch up, a, or pinch up a little layer of fat right here. Stick this on. Stick down your backing. And then plunge it right in there. Then if you just pinch the sides, your little applicator stick comes off. Then we take our pod, um, which is our transmitter for our Bluetooth capabilities. It goes in with the smaller end up towards your patient. And then you just press it down like that and it will click into place. There's a little stick that's there to help you click it into place and that just twists off as well. Now your diabetic patient has continuous blood glucose monitoring for the next 7 to 11 days with no finger sticks involved. Um, continuous blood glucose monitoring ensures that our, our diabetic patients are truly keeping a good track of that blood glucose just like a normal pancreas would do. So this is basically giving these, giving these patients an organ that we take for granted every day that they deserve to have and deserve to have the convenience of. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was informative to you.